drummer Green Beret Gregory Powell, and Josh James, the Kiwi Bushman. This time, I'm up against Kiwi Bushman and wilderness expert Josh James. Two guys from two completely different worlds join forces to take on the dense Nicaraguan jungle and show how to make it out alive. Is that a croc in the middle of the water over there? Welcome to Nicaragua. This jungle is oppressive. It is hot. It's about 90 degrees, 95% humidity. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating my ass off. I'm getting eaten up. These mosquitoes are swarming, eh? Yeah, they are. I don't know what they eat when there's no people here. Goodness knows, but they're everywhere. We stop, there's mosquitoes, we go, there's mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are terrible. You might think that the biggest predator out here are gonna be the caiman or the crocodile, when in fact, the mosquitoes are actually the most dangerous thing. Whether it's malaria, dengue fever, Zika, the mosquitoes out here are deadly. Check this out. Yep. Ants, leaf cutters. Yeah, these things might be our salvation against the mosquitoes. Back in New Zealand, we use ants as a natural insect repellent for the sandflies over there, so... Yeah? When you squash them, they emit a, an acidic lemony acid. I haven't done that one before. I'm not too sure what kind of acid it is. It may be citric acid. It certainly smells lemony. And when you crush them, that acid comes out of their poor, squashed little bodies, and that goes onto our arms, and the mosquitoes don't want to bite us anymore. Scoop them up and squash yeah. them? Typically try to stay away from ants, it's a little different. I'm all about an insect repellent, but these things are leaf cutters, which means they've got very strong mandibles. Yeah, guys. And when they're feeling threatened, they go ahead and bite you. Ah. Oh yeah, they bite. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, they're trying to bite mine, are they? Not getting through my hairs, though. You don't have many arm hairs, eh? Evolution mm -hmm. hasn't caught up on you yet. <laughs> it's not too pleasant, but I will do anything to avoid these mosquitoes. I think I'm good. Ready? If it doesn't work, we'll figure something else out. Look, 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 look. Is that a caiman? That's a little guy. Doesn't even look real, does it? I say we try to eat it. Yeah, for sure. You reckon we can catch it? In the military, we talk about targets of opportunity, and that is exactly what this caiman is. This looks like lunch, but there is risk in going for this caiman. It could easily take off a finger. Why don't I stay here and you go catch it? I figured that was going to happen. Grady's a special forces Green Beret. He's probably quite good at killing things. So I think I'm going to be the brains behind the operation and he's going to be the brawn. Get in there and catch that came in for me. Starting to move, bro. Go get him. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh. He's gone, eh? Too slow, bro. They're pretty quick. That thing gets in the water, it's gone. All right, we'll look out for another one. That's a good lunch. Get moving. Sweet, nut time. Time for some nuts. Mm -hmm. In a survival situation, especially when you're spending this much energy, getting it back in your body is a high priority and protein is on the top of that list. We spend time collecting these nuts and we're having a really hard time breaking into them. But when we finally do, we realize that 80% of them don't have any nut in them. Look at this. It's a grub. It's a grub. They're full of grubs, which in my opinion is even better. Are the grubs as well? Wow, look at mm -hmm. that. The old palm nut grub. That must be what you call them. But full of protein. Actually, really nice. I've eaten quite a few grubs in my time. We have them back home. Big giant ones, small ones. Great source of protein. They usually taste like peanut butter. These ones did not. They tasted milky, kind of sweet. They were really good. Grubs actually taste better than the uh, nuts, don't they? Yeah, they do. If it has to be bugs, it's gotta be bugs. Go ugly early or go home. Guys, check this out. Oh, hey. That's no boat. But what's a boat doing up this far into the land? Mate, this is awesome. You know what this means? We're close to the water. I was gonna say we found a boat, but that too. <laughs> Why would this be on land? We've got to be close to either a big lagoon, a big river, or the ocean, or maybe all three. Well, if we're that close, I said we'd go toward the ocean and find it. If there's a boat here, it can't be too far off. You reckon we could maybe turn it into some kind of shelter? 
Why would you want to stop and shelter here? You just said yourself we're pretty close to the ocean. Oh, the sun's getting down now, isn't it? Yeah, but why not just push through? That's our, our goal, get to the ocean. Just listen for a second. Can you hear the ocean? No. You got an idea what you want to do for a shelter? Well, I reckon if we get up off the ground, use this ship here, we can build two platforms to sleep on across that end. OK. Just an A-frame on top of this. Chop a big, long pole for a ridge line. All right, and then a bunch of thatching. Yep, bunch of thatching. I guess I'll chop the trees down. I've got the knife. I'll go work on making a roof. We're going to go off into the jungle and start chopping down. We're going to need quite a bit of wood, so I'm not really fussy. I just start hacking left, right, centre, cut trees down. I try to be as precise as I can so I don't waste any energy. I like chopping trees down. There it is. There's no shortage of cordage in this forest. The majority of the vines here seem to be perfect for lashings and tying stuff up with. A lot of the time, these vines also will have water in them. As long as it's clear and not milky, it's drinkable. And if we run that off, we'll see that's quite clear. Just have a wee taste. No burning sensation, doesn't taste bitter, so it's fine to drink. Howdy ho. That's a load of roofing. We've got the palm fronds, we've got our vines and our roots ready to lash everything up. So first we need to get the A-frame up. That's bang on, I reckon. Once that A-frame's up, then the ridge pole goes on there. It's gonna hold our thatching. A couple of poles on the side, lash everything up nice and tight. You got some more of those vines? Yeah. We're trying to keep this nice and simple so we can build it as quickly and efficiently as possible. Yeah, mate, good as gold, good as gold. We're using a technique that's found all over the tropics. We're splitting our palm fronds in half. It maximizes the amount of materials we gather, which means we don't have to gather any more. We're not wasting energy. And we're just laying them over each other, which is going to keep us 100% dry. It's looking pretty good. I'm happy with it. Grady's happy with it. That's the main thing. It's home. Oh, it's a bit lumpy, but it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good, isn't it? So, so here we are. Bit of bromance going on right now. Speak for yourself. In our own little hut, the love shack he was calling it before, but uh, I like to refer to it as the uh, Taj Mahat. This is the Taj Mahat. Ready to go. It's actually quite hard to see with these things, isn't it? Yeah. Josh, what's that in the water right there? It's a, just a, a bloody stick. When they've got a light shining in them, the caiman have an orange eyeball. So needless to say, we're going toward orange, but every time a little bit of our ember comes off of the torch, I'm zoning in straight towards it, thinking, oh, I've got one. Look, there's one right there. He's gone under. He might have gone right under this log, actually. That's where I already gone. There he is. Look, that's his back for sure. See? Oh, right there, right. right there. Bloody hell. Where the hell's his tail? Where's his head? I don't know. Grab, grab, grab. Got him? Yeah, I got him. I got him. That's right. I got him, bro. This guy goes in with his bare hands. There's no way he's going to let go right now because he can take off a finger. I've got to draw my knife and go in for the kill. Keep it vertical and just go straight down. So it goes through a spinal cord. Shot, bro. Yep, he's definitely uh, I'm about to chop his head off. That was a pretty good clean kill, mate. Went straight through a spinal cord, quick, painless. Shot. It's dark. I can't see what I'm doing. It's pretty much skinning it by feel, so we're just going to whip its tail open, skin the back, and cut slices of the tail off and skewer them on the fire. It's going to be the quickest and easiest way to cook this thing. I'm just going to hand you a bunch and get those suckers cooking because I'm bloody hungry. We've got a lot of meat to sit here for a long time. 
having solid meat at our fingertips, it's exactly what we need right now. It looks really good. And it is. Our plan is just to sit here, eat the entire Cayman until we can't eat any more, and get on that water in the morning. It'd be nice if we had a cold beer to wash this yeah. down with, wouldn't it? That's what's on my mind. Mm -hmm.